Ace money the name, getting paid by the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. WNBA, I'm making this a little early, down to the finals. Game's on uh, Sunday 13th, I believe, uh, 3 o'clock. Lynx pulled it off, uh, game one, OT. Uh, more like Liberty gave it away, but that's besides the point. Uh, line still opened at the same, plus five and a half, uh, 160 and a half, and uh, Lynx is the underdog. And they bumped even higher than they were last game, plus seven and a half. I mean, still a couple days left. But, uh, Total went up, 162.5 and, a half and uh, plus 230. It's crazy, you know. I was going to say to jump on the Lynx. They are definitely a good team, and it's going to be a battle. I don't know if uh, Liberty could pull it off. The thing is, I'm going to look at some uh, stats from the game. Liberty just really, even though they were up by so many, they uh, two different times of the game, they shot the ball really bad. But then they had turnovers. Real, they were real good with turnovers all game until the end. They had more turnovers in the fourth and OT than they had the whole game. But uh, field goal percentage. Well, first off, game leaders. We had uh, Williams. Had a great game. A lot of rebounds. Uh, a lot of points. You know, we've been playing her all year, too. She's a great shooter. So originally a shooting guard. She's only recently been playing point. And then John Quill Jones definitely stepped up. Uh, with Sabrina and uh, Stewie definitely shot pretty bad. Field goal percentage. Liberty shot way more attempt many times. Almost 20 more attempts they had. But they shot 37, say 38%. That's pretty bad. Uh, we shot 50. Three points, Liberty shot uh, 13 for 33. About 40%, which isn't that bad. And uh, nine for 22 at 40%. Free throws are about the same. Liberty did take him at rebounds, which was expected. Tons of offensive rebounds, too. That was the problem with that one play. With Collier, rebounds and assists. She had uh, the least amount of, of assists in the last couple of games, and uh, they got no rebounds. Offen uh, defensive rebounds, which would be Liberty's offensive. So that was crazy. Um Assist, Liberty did all right, too. Minnesota was one of the best teams against assist. A lot of blocks. That's except, like, we understood that. Minnesota's got Smith and Collier. They block a lot. Fast break points, Liberty took them. Points in the paint. Liberty, uh, no, Lynx took them. Liberty was up earlier. So definitely uh, largest lead, 18 points or four points. Only time they led was with like five seconds left in the game. So that OT. Then the OT, they had more turnovers than points. But uh, I expect Liberty to bounce back. I expect you know, Sabrina had that foul in the end. Uh, Courtney Williams hit a three, a couple seconds left, and Sabrina fouled her, which... Put the other team ahead. I don't know if you guys watched it. It was a great game. But uh, she's kicking herself for that one. So I have a feeling she's going to have a good game. Uh, I do got a few player props. I think Liberty is going to take it. They gave it away. Uh, it would have been a – it should have been a blowout. And they just gave it away. They they, they fell asleep when they got up. And then uh, bad coaching decisions, bad refing sometimes. 
the ball was clearly clearly out on uh, on Williams on the plate. A couple seconds left. Not the first play in the corner with like ten seconds. The last one, still we blocked the went off a hand, went out. The uh, Liberty should have challenged it. It's just bad coaching. I got some player props. Let's get into them. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. So first up, I went on uh, Corny Williams, mid-range assassin. Ball in. I uh, should have been playing this whole last week. Uh, points over 12 and a half. Minus 110, DraftKings. Line went down a little bit, opened at 13 and a half. Uh, it's possible it could go down, but I doubt it. Just cleared this four out of the last five. Uh, shooting the ball pretty well. Mid-range, like, she's a really good shot. I said this before. She's a uh, shooting guard who in the last two seasons has been moved to uh, the point. So, but she was able to create off the dribble. Uh, she's a baller, hooper. Uh, get to the get to the rim she wanted. She got that mid-range. Uh, she's added the three to her game. And she's just been shooting real well. She's turned up. Um, she's fierce. Uh, her dad's been at the games. When her dad shows up to the games, even through the regular season, she shows up and shows out. And uh, now he's even taking the trips. He was out in New York yesterday. So I expect her to have another good game. Uh, I'm not saying she, I mean, cause I, I know Liberty's going to throw something at her. I'm not expecting as many points, but... I'm expecting her to go over 12 and a half uh, for the year. Thirty-seven percent. Usually her number was like ten and a half, I think. So it's a lot. It's bumped up a little bit. But even for the year, at this number, shooting forty-four percent, forty-five percent. So yeah, I expect her to have another game. Averaging 17 these last five. Courtney Williams, mid-range assassin. When she shoots his sweet to the thing, don't even touch the rim. You just hear that sound. Whoosh. Whoosh. So, uh, I had a few leans for the other team as well. Uh, I laid off Carlton. I don't know if you've been watching, playing her forever. I mean, watching the games. We've been playing her forever, going threes or points back and forth, sometimes rebounds. The last two games, she's been wearing a sleeve on her right ankle, calf area. And uh, obviously, she <clears throat> she hurts something. So I don't know why, if that's why she's been off. I noticed it a couple games ago, two games ago, game five, she started wearing it. So I'm laying off her, but I was gonna go with um with Smith's rebounds. Killed it last game. We played her rebounds a lot of times this year. They got that five and a half plus money. She just had like eight. Uh she could go over it, but I feel like it's a bait trap. Like why do they have it at plus money at five and a half? Uh against Liberty, she normally doesn't get a lot of rebounds, but I don't know. She could go over it. Um, I like her threes, too. Smith's threes over one and a half is good plus money. Uh, might end up playing that. She don't do great all the time off threes, but every couple games, she ends up smoking a bunch of them. So at that, at that money, I might end up taking that. But uh, other than that, that Williams is the only real play I liked. All right, so on to Liberty. We got Eisenhuk, uh three-pointers right back to it, over two and a half, going for it. Uh, she cleared it. She had a rough game. Uh, she's probably, between her and Stewart, they're both laboring the loss, probably putting it on their shoulders. If she didn't make that foul and all that stuff, as well as shoot as bad, um, two and a half is just too low. Uh, Odds are almost the same as we played last game. 135. 
Uh, it could go up. It could go down. Who knows? It's Friday. Uh, she cleared this four out of five. Uh, she's putting on plenty of attempts. She's going to go over it. Uh, I was even thinking about sprinkling on four or five. She's exceeded two and a half in five straight games at home. Averaging over three. But yeah, like I said, I feel like they, they're shouldering, they're going to shoulder the blame and she's probably in the gym right now shooting. Uh, but yeah, two and a half. Yeah, she's going to cash it. Let's get it. Sabrina Ozanuk. Go New York. Go New York. Go. Leone Phoebus. Right back to her. Uh, first off, I'm going to go with her rebounds over three and a half. A little over even money, plus 102. Uh, Minnesota, all year, eighth the rebounds overall to the guard position, ranked ninth. Uh, says she's a forward, it's ranked seventh, but she's really a guard. She plays balls, but she's just tall. Uh, either way, last three games, she's been doing pretty well. Uh, attacking the basket. Offensive, defensive. Yeah, we can break that down. Three offensive last game. You know, she's getting both of them. Uh, I mean, the inside saying no. What does it say? Averaging two. But as you see, these last three games, she stepped it up. Uh, three and a half is just going to be too low. I think so. And just watching the way she's playing, uh, she's usually she's guarding uh, she's guarding the guard uh, Williams. Uh, she is guarding the forwards too sometimes, but that would be uh, Carlton and uh, and Smith. But she, Williams got a lot of rebounds too. Courtney Williams last game, but uh, three and a half is just too low. If it was at four and a half, five and a half, no, definitely not. But three and a half, she's going to get four boards, whether it's a putback, uh, you know, just, you know, Liberty shoots a lot of threes, so there's long rebounds, and she's tall. She's got a big wingspan. Uh, three and a half is just too low. Uh, I feel like it might get bumped up, too. But uh, I'm rocking with it. I think she should go over it. Just from watching, and Minnesota ain't great at rebounds uh, for the year. 33%, but you got to remember, she wasn't playing starter minutes. She's in the starting lineup now. So that's why the insights and everything else isn't going to match up. These last four or five games, she's been starting. Uh, I got faith in her. She's, you know, and they're going to put, she did score a decent amount last game, but uh, they're going to put more attention on Stewie, on Sabrina, uh, either way, they got a great defense, real good defense, and they're locking down the Liberty regardless. Once they get in that half-court D and they're set up, if New York can't get in transition, they're stopping them. They had a couple shot clock violations at the end of the game. Uh, they're real good on switching. You know, um, I just expect her to go over it. Uh, next play, I'm going to get right into it. Now, this one, uh, over one and a half threes, Definitely the safer play. Played it last game. It was minus 110. They uh, they caught up. The books figured it out with me. Uh, she went over this mad times in this last five games. They bumped it up to minus 155. And I was going to play it. But what I did was I moved it up. You want to move it up? I'm moving it up. We're going for two and a half threes. She got five last game. All these games before that, she got, she's gotten two. Her attempts have gone up these last couple games. Well, not that one game. But uh, I expect her to go over it. I got a feeling. You know, when I say that, too, we got it. I got a feeling. Over two and a half threes, Phoebus. Let's get it. I hope you guys uh, could like the video. New viewers, hit that subscribe button. Let's turn them notifications on so we get all my plays, my live bets, anything I do. But uh, 
if you could comment too, likes the comments and the people who commented yesterday, I appreciate you. Uh, yeah, everything's fine. Uh, definitely a stressful weekend, a couple of days. It's not even the weekend. That's how stressful it was. Weekend started now. But uh, what else? What else? Oh, I dropped a parlay in the community. Man, let me tell you. Everything hit except for fucking Kalia's th- uh, assist. She missed it by one. So I hit like a 10-legger and missed it by one assist. That ain't even the half of it. I had one for the football game, too. It was $20. would have made 400 I missed it by a couple. It wasn't as bad as that one assist, but I missed it by a couple things. Yeah, so those are the four I played. I'm uh, staying away from Carlton until she shows me something different. Uh, expect Williams to be the dog that she is. Isaac's definitely getting the two and a half threes. The rebounds I feel real strong about. Uh, the threes... I I bet a half unit. Um, If you're spending more money, do the one and a half. The one and a half, she's definitely going to go over. Uh, I just get a little ballsy sometimes. I say, you want to change the number? Good, I'll change the number. Let's get it.